Hello, good day everyone. I hope everyone is doing well, everyone is safe. So today we are going to learn a very interesting application using Streamlight, how to create this image comparison app. So you have results from two different application or a before and after result, and you want to compare and you can use this app for analysis. So this is one example of uh, sharpening the blurred image. So on the left side, you see is the blurred image and on the right side is the sharp image and you can use this slider to see the difference exactly between the two images in each region of the image and one more example is again this for the blurred image you can also use for other application in this i have used uh, you know image enhancement so on the left side we have a, a low light image and on the right side we have the you know enhanced brightened image and you can see how it's it got brightened and one more example here yeah so let's see you know how we can learn this uh, learn to create this kind this app you know and you can use it for your any of your custom application so we can do this using streamlight and one of the module of streamlight called streamlight image comparison and let's see in the code how we can do it so i have two scripts one is to create a single file you know just one file and one is to create uh you know this full list where we can go back forth and and so on so it's very simple actually you just need to compare this to library uh sorry you need to import this to libraries import the image module you set the page layout you know uh, give a title of uh, the app on the heading you know on the page then we are creating a sidebar you know so if you see this uh, this was the title uh, this is the sidebar that we are creating and in the sidebar we are giving the option to you know upload the files and in this I have uh, you know disabled the multiple file upload and then this to our you know creating a space to write the image names uh, so if you see here this image name on the left and image name on the right so we are creating we are creating space using this then only if we have you know valid files loaded in this two variable we open the image files we write the file name in this space where we want to write and then we display using the image comparison function and then we also give a label in our case we are giving image one image two and you can set the width of the display so this is the label image one image two and this is the width so that is it and we run this so let's run for the single uh, you know single image and let's see how it runs so it, you just have to go to your console streamlight run and you know let me run it for the single file first and let's see how it runs or i will close the, okay so it open it will open in a portal 8502 uh, okay so let me select the theme to dark <laughs> okay and now you see you have this compared to images there are no images selected you have the sidebar that we created we'll browse and here we can you know we have this sample data let's say this one 494 blurred and from a sharpened one in folder 2 494 sharp and we open this and yes you have it now so you can then you know slide over and you can see the difference between the two images uh, you can you know obviously browse another file say okay data in folder 1 uh, and then you know data in folder 2 this one yeah, now you have for another application of image enhancement, say. So this is how we do for the single file. But when you have a list of files, you know, in, and you want to browse through all, then we have to do a little bit of changes. So let's see what changes we can do. So it's again the same uh, import. And now we create uh, two more functions of the next and previous. And in this, we are going to you know increment and decrement the counter uh, this is the role of these two functions 
Now we initialize a counter with zero and we are using streamlight session state to you know keep track of these counters. So we create a initializer in this session and then we are updating the counters based on the next and the previous. Now in the main page, it's same, uh, same, you know, page layout, same writing, same, we create a sidebar. Uh, here now we, if I zoom out a little, so we will make it multiple files, uh, you know, acceptable by these two browse, uh, you know, uh, browse functions. And then we create two buttons, you know, for the previous and for the next. And then within this button, we give the instruction of what to call on clicking next and previous. Uh, if you enable this one, then it will make the button bigger. You know, it will take the whole, sorry, it will take the whole, the space uh, of this button. And then, yeah, then it's the same space for file name. Then you check if the files are loaded. Now you're going to read the, all the uploaded files because we are accepting multiple files and you keep a count of total number of images. Now you select uh, ID of the, based on the counter and the number of image so that you know which image ID to load based on the previous and next button click. Then based on the ID index, you know, you select the images and then based on the index, you write the file names and you also have an image counter to show and then you display it. Same as that, just that we have added button. Uh, we have created a counter and we are reading the entire list and then we are selecting based on this index and now if we run this which we were running you see this will if i just refresh it just to see, see from beginning so you will have buttons and this and you just browse and then you go to folder one select say all these four images and go to folder two Select again all these four images and yes, now you have, you know, for the first image, this dark to bright, the next image is again dark to bright and then we have, you know, blurriness, blurriness to sharpness and then blurriness to sharpness and then again you go next and start from the beginning and you see the image count, uh, the image names and the, the files that you have selected. So yeah, this is it. And this example data set I'm using is this LOL data set, uh, just to show this demo. And one more interesting thing you can do is you can record this screen here itself so that you can share with someone. So you just click on this record a screen, go to start recording, uh, go to windows, say I want to record this window of image comparison app. I click on this, uh, I hide this. Yeah, so now it's recording for me you can you know just go back and forth to show it you can go to the next image say sharp and blurred and we can you know just do this and see how it's changing and then you go here and stop recording and now you can see a recorded version of it is available and you you can you know share this uh, with someone whom you want to show this application and then you can save this video to the disk and now when you open this, it will open with a video player. And yeah, now there's a video for you. Cool. So yeah, I will uh, share this, both this uh, code uh, along with some readme instruction to run this in my GitHub here uh, in Streamlight Image Comparison app. And I hope, you know, this was interesting for you and you can use this code to, you know, display results from your application. Uh, thank you very much for listening and till then, keep learning and keep exploring neurons. Bye.